Later on, by about the late 1880s, you begin to see a new kind of bicycle appear on the scene. A bike that looks a lot like the bikes we're familiar with today. They call them the safety bicycle. To differentiate from the high wheel or the ordinary, which was the large wheel, the big wheel, the safety bicycle was um, smaller wheel. It started out uh, as a 30 inch wheel. In 1888, the pneumatic tire was commercialized by John Dunlop, who was a veterinary surgeon. And he didn't do it as a commercial venture at first. He did it for his son. His son had a trike with wooden spoke, wooden rim, and didn't like running on the cobblestones because it was a rough ride. And so his son came back one day and said, hey dad, can you make it run smoother? And his dad, John Dunlop, took some surgical tube, invented a little valve, put it on, and made it ride much better. And the kid came back and said, thank you. It not only rides much smoother, but it goes faster too. And he said, faster, aha. And so he made some to fit the cycle racers' cycles and introduced cycle racers to them who were losers and they started to win. And if anything wins, it gets adopted. By 1893, pretty much all the bikes used pneumatic tires. The wood rim came at the same time. The wood rim, by the way, was uh, forgiving. It was cheaper to make than the steel. There's a lot of qualities of the wood rim. And then the pneumatic tire instituted the change, downsized the wheel, became even easier for the women to ride. The frame became lighter. It was quite an uh, innovation. Safety bicycle of the 1880s and 1890s looks a lot like the, the contemporary mountain bike with the straight handlebar and, and the uh, fat balloon tires. 